Yeah, Pat and Dina, for now, this seems like a much bigger deal for the politicians involved rather than the community itself. In fact, we asked uh, several people off camera today uh, about this plan, and many of them who live around this area, shop around this area, simply shrugged when we told them about what was being planned for here. This most recent plan comes from the state of Illinois, not the city of Chicago, and would make this uh, old Walmart into a shelter for immigrants, many of them being bused to the city of Chicago from Texas by Governor Greg Abbott. Habit. Now, this Kmart uh, was shuttered around 90 or rather 2017 and is about 96,000 square feet would be redeveloped according to reports to house upwards of 600 people. But even state lawmakers are asking the governor's office now for the plan on what this redevelopment will look like with questions of safety, not only for the surrounding community, but for the immigrants themselves. It comes, of course, just a few weeks since the mayor's plan caused an uproar on the south side in the Woodlawn neighborhood to house immigrants at the closed up Wadsworth School. On the morning news today, just a few hours ago, the mayor was asked specifically about the state's plan here at 71st and Pulaski, and this was her answer. We have to live our values as a welcoming city, not just in good times, but also in challenging times. And we didn't create the crisis of Governor Abbott shipping people uh, to our city like they were freight, but we had an obligation to step up and respond, and that's exactly what we've done. The biggest challenge that we face right now is the federal government has to give these folks work permits. They're here in the country legally. They're coming from literally all over the world. They have a right, uh, and I think we have an obligation to give them the ability to work. If they had work permits, I could get every single able-bodied adult hired today. That being said, we are in the 23rd ward here. The older person for this ward, Savannah Tabaras, did not want to talk to us on camera today, but did send this statement along saying, after being briefed about the state's pending plans to house migrants at the location at 71st and Pulaski, I have major concerns for the safety of the local community and the people who will be housed at this location. I've spoken with our state elected officials and have urged them to engage the local community before this process proceeds any further. We have, we need a plan rather that ensures the safety of the community and its residents. Now we did reach out to Governor J.B. Pritzker's office for comment, perhaps to share this plan with us to see what this old Kmart would look like under this redevelopment plan to house migrants. We have yet to hear back. If we do, we'll have it later on the news starting at 4 o'clock. For now, we are live on the city's southwest side. Sean Lewis, WGN News.